this semester and he's getting better and better with what he's doing. We enjoy it and we appreciate that. And his wife, uh, Sister Atkins, is going to be the main speaker for the Women's in Red. <laughs> main speaker. And his choir is just, really, you all have just opened up my heart. When I come there and hear you all sing, it is such a blessing to see young people that love God. That's a blessing. When I, come, when I go to a church and I don't see any young people, I know that I'm, I'm at a dying church. Because if nobody's coming along behind me, then that church is going to die. And one of the things, Dr. Atkins, I am grateful for here at Great Open Door, that we have saw four generations of children come through this church, and we still have a generation of children here at the church. Uh, can I say this, and then I'm going to give you into the hands of Dr. Atkins, and after his choir has sung A or B, y'all can y'all sing both, A and B. Is out. Uh, then I'm going to ask all the Great Open Door to stand and the others to stand, and we're going to receive Dr. Atkins. But Great Open Door in these 35 years, the Church of God in Christ uh, claims a membership of six and a half million people worldwide. There's a AIMS is the organization that come together: the Sunday School, uh, the Youth Department evangelists and the mission department come together and we call it AIM, auxiliaries all coming together. From this city in Long Beach, when they've had the national AIMS meeting, which includes all the Church of God in Christ, 66 countries we are in, this church twice have went to the national meeting and come back for the AIM convention with the, when they had the, uh, what do you call it, the quiz? What, what was it? Bible, Bible Bowl. Bowl. Bible Bowl. This church have come back number second place once and third place twice out of the United States. And <laughs> this church. And they have gone the end of this month. At the end of this month. And I am praying and believing that they've been second place. And they've been third place. Can somebody tell me what's left? So they are, they are representing jurisdiction number one this year. After the choir have sung, I want you to rest on your feet. Get your hat on tight. Don't let anybody talk to you. I want you to listen attentively. This man is a preacher preacher. He have a word. You're going to enjoy this. You're in for a ride. I told him on Tuesday, I said, I want you to look at the church, look across, see how everything's in order. When you leave here, I don't want my church tore up. Choir song, would you just stand on your feet and everybody, let's praise God for Dr. Atkins.
God bless you. Let's give God a hand of praise all over the house. Come on. Give God a hand of praise. 35 years. 35 years. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to mess with us today and say 35 years passed in us, folks. 35 years passed in anybody. We thank God for you on this day. Dear God, we say thank you. We bless your holy name. Let us decrease, O oh God, and you increase. Give us your word that you would have for us on this night. After 35 years of doing the duty in which you ordained, we say thank you, Lord. We 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 thank you, Lord. Come on, we thank you, Lord. 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 For just being who you are. All these blessings we ask in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. And Amen. While you are standing very quickly, can you open your Bibles? Very quickly. Uh, let us go to the gospel according to St. John. Thank you. To Greater Open Door Church, thank you musicians, my friends. We thank you. Let's look at the 11th chapter of John. Since the hour is going, we are going to look at one verse. You can read the rest yourself. I want you to look at verse chapter 11, verse 22. Hmm. Let's look at 22a. Chapter 11, 22a. Everybody got that? It's only six words. Uh, uh, matter of fact, repeat after me. But I know, but I know that, even now, that even now. Say that again. But I know, but I know that, even now, that even now. And I just want to use for a thought for a few minutes. Uh, even now, faith. God bless you. Even now, faith. Now, Dr. Harton uh, excused me. Uh, first giving praises. Uh, Sister Valentine, I'm doing the same thing you did. To God, to the very fine pastor and co-pastor of this great church. Um, our friend, our brother, our sister, Dr. and Dr. Harton. We thank you. It's a pre privilege. It's a privilege even being asked to come to such an occasion as this. I know you see us a couple of times a year, and we do the anniversary thing, the, the pastor and wife anniversary thing, and we, we got that. We, we got that. I, you'll be back to us in August, and I'll come back to you in October. We got that down. We got that down. We got that. But this is a special occasion. The others are special, but this is uh, something different. And, 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 and what's so uh, funny about this is that I could see it in the son's countenance. Okay? How do you know, Pastor? What did you see? How did you? Well, uh, Faithful St. Mark, for the month of May, we just celebrated 50 years on Figueroa. We just celebrated 50 years. Like Pastor uh, 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 Elder Harden and, and myself, we are PKs. He said he was here for the whole 35. I was at my church for the whole 50. For the whole 50 on Figueroa, on 95th and Figueroa. All right? Then, and, and it's funny because... I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm preaching, I'm preaching, I'm already preaching. I, I, I stood up on the final day 
of the of the and, and at the banquet in the church we and I had so much Patrick that I wanted to tell some of those old members. I had a lot I wanted I had some stuff on my mind on how they used our family to help motivate and get themselves ahead. I had a lot on my mind. But and, and, and I even told Dr. Harden this when I came in. And it was so funny because my wife had even told me, well, you know, don't worry about that. You can't worry about that. that. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. No, but 50 years, all I was waiting for the little part at the bottom of the program that said, remarks Dr. Gentry Atkins. <laughs> I was waiting for remarks. I just wanted to give my remarks and, 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 and give my remarks. And, 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 and I looked at Dr. Harden. And it's funny because the folk I really wanted to tell that to wasn't there. And secondly, when I stood up to give my thank yous, all I could say is, you know, out of all the things that transpired in the church, all the lies that went out, even when I became pastor, rumors has hit the hit the hit the hit the Baptist folk, y'all. I don't know, they probably didn't hit y'all part of the country, but the Baptist folk, they, oh, he took the daddy's church from him. He took this church from his daddy. I ain't never took nothing from my daddy in my life, man. Talking about slap the black off. That was the least thing the R V was worried about somebody taking some of our son especially. That wasn't gonna happen. But it's just how, and I was really, I kept that in. But when I stood to give my thank you, the Holy Spirit said, all I could tell them, you know, I thought I wanted to share my side of the story. But you don't have no story, Atkins. It was my story. And I realized the only story that needed to ever be told is the one that we've been telling. That he died, he rose again on the third day. And I felt so much better. So I relate to 35 years here. That is a blessing. Give God a hand of praise. Starting with nothing. Uh, trying to build up something for God. That God has given you to go forth and. And, 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 and share in the community. Uh, um, Dr. Harden told me, I said, Dr. Harden, I got a bone to pick with you. I said, you didn't tell me nothing about no reflecting on the past and pressing forward with great anticipation. So what am I supposed to do? The same thing he said. And so... God had let this on our heart down. We going don't worry. We going we going to tie in some about Philippians somewhere. I just feel it feel the spirit with that. It's going to get in here some kind of way. Our spirit going to slide it in some kind of way. But here talking about an even now faith. Something for this 35th. An even now faith. I don't know how many of you understand and know this, that the enemy has been plotting on you all of your life. I don't know that. I don't know if you know this. The enemy has been plotting on... How many of you have got enemy problems? Some of y'all ain't putting your hand up, so y'all got it going on. But I got problems. But let me hip you up to it. Even though you think you might be uh, on your way or have succeeded or successfully gotten somewhere, the enemy is plotting on you as we speak. He doesn't like this. He didn't like 35 years. He didn't like one year. 35 years later. And the only way that you can make it, the only way, greater open door, Faith will say, Marcus, one thing about uh, when me and Dr. Harden, I see I'm here every Tuesday night and, and we come in as one big family and, 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 
and Baptists in the Church of God in Christ have no bearing. Even though when I come in this church, I always have to stand and look to see what they have new. Then I pull my phone out and I take a picture. I came in Tuesday night and everything was fine. Wasn't nothing new. I remember I was here when they put the writing on the back. I was here when they got the new cross. I was here when they got the logo on this. But I came in this past Tuesday and I said, okay, nothing going on. Then until I looked and there was a brand new coffee pot. And I said, I'm going to take a picture, Dominique, and I'm going to send this to the Baptist. Because we ain't got no car. I told him we still are dealing with the eight cup thing. Watch this. Watch this. The only way we're going to make it as Christians and as God's people is that we must, first of all, learn to walk by faith. Yeah, yeah. We need to learn to walk by faith. I, I need Dr. Harden. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need my faith to be the strongest when my fear, watch this, is the loudest. I need my faith to be strong when my fear is crying out the loudest. Well, here in the text, in the 11th chapter, we find out several things that is going on. Jesus has some friends, and his friends are, are Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. And, and, and you know the story. You, you understand the story. But, but, but one thing, dealing with faith, dealing with this situation at hand, if we're going to have and build up some faith, some even now faith. Jesus, before you can do anything, you need to have a relationship. See, that's one of the things that we are forgetting about. Uh, a relationship, if you understand. Jesus frequently visited the home of Mary and Martha. He frequently visited there where they lived. He was a regular tenant. When he would come into town, he would stay with them. So they had built a relationship. The Bible even says it was the same Mary that anointed the feet of Jesus several times. Three times in the Bible, you will find that they were, Mary was at the feet of Jesus. You'll, you'll find this out and understand. But, but they had a relationship. Watch this. People invest in things they trust. People invest in things they trust. You wonder why sometimes the church is empty. Because sometimes folk don't know what to invest in. Oh, I know in 35 years, all the pews have never always been full. But I'm glad there's a little thing that says where two or three are gathered together. Wait, 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 you missed that. Where two or three. Let's get this straight. You guys are probably, most of y'all live in maybe this Long Beach area. I grew up in L.A. I went to 52nd Street Elementary. I went to John Mead Junior High. And I graduated from Manuel Arts High School. The one thing, the one thing I want to hit you up to, when I left school, I did know how to count. And it seems to me, Reverend White, where two or three are gathered together in my name, touching and agreeing, church don't need to be full. Church don't have to be full. Sometimes I don't think we think, we think church is going to stop because we ain't here. We think the church is going to stop. Do you know how many days it was just Dr. and Sister Harton? He said it's never been under 30, but I bet it was sometimes it felt like it was under 30. We trust in what we have a relationship. But isn't this as funny? People invest in what, in whom, or in things they trust, Dr. Harton. But what's hard, isn't this something we're always trying to get God to do something for us but you don't even want to walk by him and see. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see people investing with the trust in. 
You want God to work for you. You want God to save my baby. You want God to heal me. You want God to do this. But when last time you spoke to God? Does he know who you are? There must be a relationship in whatever you're going to do if your faith is going to increase. Oh, yeah, I heard him sing the song, We Come This Far By Faith. This church has not gotten here just by. That's what Dr. Harton told me when, he, when this assignment was given to me. He walked by and he, he walked off from me when I was asking him what the theme was a couple of weeks ago. And he just said, oh, Atkins, it don't matter. We come this far by faith. <laughs> and I took it and I ran with it. Because to get to this point, it was not because you had money in the bank. It was not because you had some good looking and fine and handsome members. It was because of faith. In God. Yeah, yeah. You don't speak to him. But, 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 but I found out something. So he goes and, and he frequented Lazarus's house. But, but something happened here. The Bible says that they sent a messenger to tell Jesus, their friend, that their other buddy, their brother, Lazarus, was sick. That's what they told him. They, they, they needed to tell him that. And the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says that Jesus got the news. But where he was, he abode there and spent some more time. That's what he said he did. Now, if you're a real friend, and sometimes don't you wonder why your friend didn't come? Seem like they should come whenever you call. Dr. Harden and I are friends, uh, 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 but, but, but I do understand if something and other obligations that comes up, he might not can make it all the time. But, 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 but this was Jesus. This was Jesus. This was Jesus. And, and sometimes... When there he is, hmm, when we are waiting on God. Dr. Harden, 35 years. I know you had some waiting time. Sometimes, great open door, when you are waiting on God, stuff dies. Some stuff dies when you're waiting on God. Yeah, ask Mary and Martha. Some, some, some things happen when you're waiting on God because God sometimes takes too long. When you're waiting on him, something died. Lazarus died while they were waiting on God. And, and that's the problem. Some stuff needs to die. You wonder why God, why God, they pay your bills right off? Because some stuff needs to die. Maybe the bill that you need paid is something you didn't need to buy in the first place. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Something got to die. Something it got to die. Well, while we're while we're waiting on some supernatural move of God, sometimes some things have to die. They have to die. It was that's not that's not the only thing. It says that he he died. Whom that who Jesus loved, Martha and and his sister Lazarus. Uh, in between verses one and five, it says uh, 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 Lazarus died. He he died. He died. We need to understand, if we're going to build our faith, you need to learn how to release some things. You got to get rid of some stuff. You got to release something. It's important for faith. As long as you're holding on to some of that stuff, God ain't going to move. As long as you're holding on to some of that stuff, God is not going to move. Look at your name and say, he's not going to move because you got too much junk. You need to have a yard sale. And get rid of some of that stuff. Some of that stuff. Some members in the church, watch this, stagnate the church. You shouldn't ask me to come to preach something for 35 years. You understand? Some, 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 some folk, I didn't say it was any of y'all. Y'all look like you pretty, pretty good members, I, I, I think. But you know, looks is only from the outside. Uh, 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 do you tithe? Do you come to Bible study? Do you come to Sunday school? Do you pr- support the pastor and the first lady? Some folks can stagnate the church. Stagnate the church. I know you probably expected me to tell you how nice everything is. And how nice it's been in 35 years. 
a lot of sleepless nights. Hmm. You got to release something. You got to release something. You got to release something. Then, 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 then. That's not all. That's not all. He, 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 he finally gets to where he's going. Jesus comes into the town of Bethany there. He comes where Lazarus has now died. And, 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 and while he's there, then you get some sarcasm from Martha. Martha runs to Jesus and Martha comes and, and, and I'm sure she does like a lot of our young people do. Put the hand on the hip and start swinging the neck. Well, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Y'all have any neck? Y'all don't have no neck shakers in Great Open Door, huh? If you had been here, or finger pointers, if you had been here, my brother would have done, wouldn't have died. Huh? Huh? You got to release that attitude. You got to release. Some of those things that are holding you back. That's why some of our folks can't get ahead. Because you think you're God's gift to society. You think you are it. You didn't got to graduate. Got you one or two little, little, you got a chance to wear that rope around your robe. They told you it was Kuma or something. And, 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 and you stroking that because that's all you got. You ain't got nothing else. And sometimes it shows in the way your, your, your actions are towards some folks. You need to learn to release some things. Yeah, if you want your faith to grow, if you want your faith to grow, you got to learn to release some stuff. I preached a sermon once at the church and told them they got too much stuff. Too much stuff. 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 Say it so you spit. Stuff. You got too much stuff. You got to get rid of some stuff. You got baggage holding you down and you can't get ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're hanging around with the wrong folk. That's baggage. That's stuff. That's stuff. That's stuff. I'm trying to help you to increase on your faith. Your faith has to increase. You have too much stuff. And then, so when Jesus gets into town and, 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 and they have learned to release Lazarus. Lazarus is dead and he has been dead. Uh, 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 as we come on into our text verse, we find out something here. Martha, soon as she, she sees him and she gives her attitude. But then the Bible says, Martha gets a revelation. What do you mean, Pastor? What's the revelation that Martha gets? It says, then said Martha uh, unto Jesus, uh, uh, hmm, as Mary was still in the house. But the Bible says, then said Martha unto Jesus. Mary was still sitting where she was supposed to sit. Well, the, the Bible says she was. But Martha, it says that Martha says to Jesus. Remember, a moment ago, she was out in the yard, probably had no shoes on or had some of them beast thongs on and, and have, ain't no telling how she was looking and, and, and probably had rollers in her hair, shaking her neck, talking about if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. You understand that. But now the Bible says she has a revelation at the same time that says, and Martha said unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother wouldn't have died. But I know. Anybody in here know? Says, but I know that even now, uh, whosoever thou, whatsoever thou will ask, woo, thou will ask of God, God will give it to them. Uh, anytime you can have some even now, faith. I'm sure, Dr. Harden, you have been toiling a long time, but you have to have some even now faith. Is there anybody here that got some even now faith? Some even now faith is faith that when it looks dark and look like you're not going to make it, but I got some even now faith. I was thinking about you the other day, Dr. Harden. I 
when I was thinking about coming to the service, I know that it was difficult for you to move from the blue building on Artesia and from the little white church on the corner right there down the street from the school. You don't have to tell Atkins because we had a laundromat right next door to the church. You understand? And, 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 and I understand, uh, what you were going through. Uh, it hurt my heart so much, uh, in most folk eyes to say we lost the laundromat. You can say what you want to say, but I didn't lose nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, I know some folk may have been talking, Dr. Harden, and saying, well, Dr. Harden and the Harden family have lost their church. But, 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 but the Harden family ain't lost nothing. Uh, you, you hear what I'm saying? Uh, uh, we are hung up on when you lose something. I found out you only lose something when you don't know where to find it. But I know where my laundromat is. Just like you know where your church is. Yeah, and, and, and the Bible says that, 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 that she said that even now faith. But, and it made me think about the fact that you had to turn over something, uh, that you had worked hard for. Well, that's the same way I felt next door to faithful St. Mark. And, and when it was time to turn over the keys, the, my deacons over there said, well, pastor, I got this. I said, no, 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 no. And I took the keys out of, had a big ring of keys for the, all the laundry mat. And I said, I need to do this. And I walked the keys over to the man next door who was going to inherit the building. And I handed him the keys, but it broke my heart. But then I understood something, Brother Patrick, and I really came to life uh, uh, when I read your text tonight, when it says in Philippians, I had not count, uh, uh, I have not apprehended. You understand? Some things I don't understand. But that's all right. I'm just going to trust in the Lord and lean not to my own understanding. Have anybody here ever been in a situation where you didn't know what God was going to do? It ain't your business. Let God do what he gonna do yeah 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 I want you to know that's why even now is there anybody here got some even now faith even though your child is in jail even now God is working it out even though they're going to cut off your lights next week God is working it out right now even now you don't have a job but I know my God will make a way even now even now you got to have some even now faith yeah, 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 yeah. You come this far by faith. It looked dark on the backside. But oh, when you get on the other side, even now, God is. One thing about God, he will not quit working. He does not quit performing for you. What do you mean, Atkins? He said, I never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread he wouldn't have called you if he didn't have a plan for you he wouldn't have called you to build beach the church he wouldn't have called you to ordain deacons he wouldn't have called you to ordain preachers but God has a way of doing things I don't understand yeah Uh, 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 even now, God, that's a God 
that has the power to do. He has the power and uh, even now God puts me in a situation that I know the best is yet to come. Well, even now, even now, well, when Jesus heard her say that, the first thing he said was, take me to where Lazarus is. And then when he got there, he says, take away the stone. Anybody got some stones that need removing? Take away some stones. Anybody got some stones that are in the way? Jesus, watch what he does. He told him he didn't go in the grave. He didn't put no hoodoo. He didn't throw no oil. He didn't give a prayer cloth. But he stood on the outside. He said, Lazarus, yeah, you don't hear what I'm saying. Lazarus, that's what he said. He's calling him by name. Y'all not hearing me here. Lazarus, hey, hey, you heard him call, didn't you, lady? Didn't you miss? Lazarus, hey, hey. He called him. He called Lazarus. He called him. He called him. He called him. Some folks want to say that if Jesus had to call Lazarus by name and would have just said, get up, all the dead would have rose from the grave. But I don't know about that because when I was meditating, and meditation means to rehearse. When I was rehearsing, yeah, I thought about for years. I heard preachers say they had to call the name of Lazarus. Because if he had to just said, dead man, get up, all the dead would arose. But if my God is omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, he can outthink. Before there was a when and a where. He has this thing thought of. He don't have to call your name. He can just think about it. He can just say. And you'll get up. Out of your seat. He can just point his finger. You don't hear what I'm saying. You remember the wind. And the waves. Obey. His will. Lazarus. Come forth. Lazarus, come forth. The Bible says, the Bible says, because of her faith, the Bible says, the Bible says, he didn't touch Lazarus. They didn't take the binds off of his feet. They didn't take the binds off of his hands. Lazarus, hey, Lazarus got up. And bounced his way out of the grave. Lazarus! Anybody here is calling your name? And all you got to do is bounce your way. Lazarus! Lazarus! Is he calling anybody? Lazarus! 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 Hey, Lazarus, Lazarus. Is there anybody here know what I'm talking about? The Greater Open Door Church. He called you Greater Open Door. Come forth! Yeah! 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 Well, when he calls you, and you know what's so cold? When he calls you, Patrick, you got to move. When he calls you, you got to move. When he calls you, you got to move. When he calls you, 
You got to move. Well, even now faith says, well, pastor, what is this even now faith? I know what you want me to say. Because most of us want to run to Hebrews 11 and 1. And we want to say, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things we can't see. But that's not the definition. 11 and 1 is what faith does. When it's on the inside, not on the outside. Well, Atkins, what are you trying to say? Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Dr. Harden, First Lady Harden, you have come this far by faith. Your children are here by faith. Members are here. By faith, the church is here. By faith, the choir sings. By faith, healing is going on. By faith, yeah. It's enough folk. It's enough folk up in here. It's enough folk up in here. It's enough folk up in here. Right now. It's enough folk up in here. It's enough folk up in here. That there should not be a problem with casting out demons. Do you hear what I said? By faith. It's enough folk up in here. Nobody should be in here walking with a wheelchair. It's enough faith up in here. Nobody. Now faith, now faith, even now faith, you've had some dark days, but even now, somebody got to have some faith. Anybody here has some dark days? Anybody here has some dark days? If your hand ain't up, maybe all your days been bright. Come give me the secret to all your bright days. But I know one thing about it. All God's children go have some dark days. Did you hear what I said? If you're a child of God, you're going to have some dark days. But I know how to get past those dark days. Yeah! Trust Him and believe. He will do it. Anybody know God will do it? Anybody know He'll make a way out of no way? Anybody know He'll pick you up, turn you around. Anybody know? Yeah. He'll put running in your feet, clapping in your hands. Yeah. 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 I feel him. 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 When you don't have a dance, he'll give you a dance. Yeah!